Hi everybody, it's Pam and Bill from Country Living Newbie Custom Decor in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And we are coming to you live today. Shouldn't uh, be a long one. We're gonna show you how to apply our new knob transfers that we got from um, Redesign with Prima. So um, we just got some of these in. There's more coming, but they're um, one sheet with five different designs. This is a Paris cottage. And then we have the French Maison? Maison. Maison. The N is silent. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> At least what I say it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All serious now. Okay. <laughs> this is serious stuff, okay? Okay, so we're going to use our um, Dixie Bell paint, and we're going to use uh, their brightest white, which is cotton. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out, probably more than I'll even need. And we just picked up these wood um, knobs at Home Depot or, or Lowe's. They, they come in different sizes, but we picked, uh, we picked up this one. So we're going to... Each one's about $1.20, somewhere around there. A piece? For the large ones. Oh, wow. The smaller ones, I think, are a little cheap. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put my paint on. And I'm just using the Dixie Bell Premium Chip Brush, which, um, you know, unless I'm painting furniture, uh, a tabletop kind of thing, um, I love these chip brushes. I just, I use them over and over. They do shed a bit, but that's to be expected with a, a chip brush. We're gonna hit this with some heat. We're just gonna see how quick this is, so we're doing it start to finish. It's pretty obvious, but if you have not used a heat gun before, do not go anywhere near <laughs> that end. Okay. And you're painting the rest because that's where you were holding it. Yep. And then... The other thing you could do is these all come with screws. You could hold it by the screw. That's brilliant. You screw it in a little bit, hold it by the screw, and then paint it. Actually, I have the screws right over there, but. And then we're gonna. I don't know about brilliance, but give it one more coat. I just called you brilliant. Let it go. Let yeah. it be. Just well, go with it. it. Doesn't happen often. Right. Okay. I, I put two coats on everything. I mean, you can get decent coverage sometimes with one coat, but. And we're gonna be covering most of it up anyway, so probably not necessary, but. sandpaper so I want this to look a little bit distressed so we're just gonna rub some of it off you can do this after you put the transfer on as well so I'm gonna go ahead and, and you could have painted it a darker color first before the white right yeah if you wanted, if you to, wanted to get a really distressed look yeah you can see that other color come the, the darker would have come through nice yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's our knob, ready to go. All right, why'd you do the really, really thin, the, the light sanding pad? What I just did now? Yes. Well, there was a lot of dust from okay. the, um, actually not a lot of dust, um, but, but some dust on there. And I want the, um, it, the surface to be nice and clean okay. and smooth for the transfer. Okay, so these transfers, like I said, come in a sheet with multiple, um, designs on them. I think they come with five five designs. You can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knobs out of each one. So for this one, Classy glare. <laughs> let's see which one we want to do. Let's do, do something that'll pop. Let's do one of these. Or maybe one of those. Yeah, let's do one of those. Something with a dark color against the light. Actually, let's do this one. It's a little bigger. So you just cut out around the transfer 
and it still has its protective sheet on it. Okay, I haven't, um, I haven't taken that off yet. So you wanna cut it with the protective sheet on. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm sniffling, but my nose is, it's cold here today. <laughs> okay, so then we're just gonna carefully peel off the backing and you can get rid of that. Now the well, knots- What's is a sticky. It's a, yeah, it's a little tacky. Yeah. So, um, you know, just be careful where you, where you lay it down. These knobs have a, a, a curvature to them. And this is fairly, I mean, it's fairly flexible, but it's not, um, it's not like saran wrap where it's going to conform. So when you put it on... The transfer itself will, but not the protective. No, no even this is, you'll see when I put it on, um, it doesn't ex exactly conform um, to, the, to the roundness of the knob. So you may have a spot, see like kind of... Do you see that there where it's, mm -hmm. so you kind of have to just press it on the best you can. And then you take the stick. Now the stick doesn't come with the knob transfer as I found out. I have, to, oh, does it? No. Um, it didn't come with it. So I had this one from um, another, another package, but you can pretty much use um, a popsicle stick. Popsicle stick. Yeah. Credit card. So then you just start scraping it on. And you can see it's moving a little bit, but I'm fine with that. Again, I'm gonna distress this. And in a couple weeks, we're gonna be getting in some stamps um, that you can put on knobs. And there's actually an applicator that's flexible that will allow you to bend the stamp over the knob and get that, um, that curvature on there. This, um, is, again, is pretty easy. Hopefully my paint is dry enough, because if you put this over paint that's still wet, you're gonna take your paint, you're gonna scrape your paint right off. So hopefully we waited long enough. Okay, so now I'm just peeling it back, and as long as I don't see any of the transfer still sticking to the paper, which right here I did, I'm just putting it back down and going over it again. And I hear a car, so we may get someone in. But there it is. And I usually just take my finger and smooth it out. You can even take um, a little sponge, rub it on. You want to make sure it's on good. You, you need to seal these, too. You shouldn't just put this on um, without a sealer on it. So I also want to go over it with some sandpaper. Because, again, I want this to look a little distressed. So I want to actually take some of it off and make it kind of scratchy looking. Nice. Good. Okay, and then... And the scratchiness really makes it look like it's been there a long time. Yeah. So, so to cool. seal it, um, you can use any clear coat sealer. Do not use wax. Okay, do not use wax. But this is um, Dixie Bell's um, flat clear coat. You can use satin, you can use gator hide, whatever you normally use for your sealer. And again, I try not to dip my brush in the jar. And important, you do not shake the jar? Yeah, you really shouldn't shake it because you can get, um, well, this one's, this one is probably okay. Gator hide you shouldn't shake because you'll get some bubbles and then when you go to put it on <clears throat> your piece, the bubbles will will not go away. All right. So there we have it. Not sure how long that took, but it was just a few minutes. Nice. Put that on the I mean, dresser. what a, what a difference that will make on your yeah, on your dresser or whatever your um whatever piece of furniture you're right. you're trying to put knobs on. So. And how much are uh, Package, um, package is eight ninety nine. Oh, so wow. nine bucks, and you get um, you could do several a lot. Dresses. Forty, I think forty <laughs> knobs out of that. So, and we we have several several varieties. So come on in and see us. If you have any questions, you can message me or put a comment on this video, and I will answer to the best of my knowledge. Thank you guys. Bye bye.